Welcome to the battlefield, my warriors. This is Darkson of Legend playing Valkyria Chronicles, the game where my legend began. Well, maybe my legend is getting a little bit too conceited, especially uh, since I'm nowhere near top of YouTube. But personal legend, I suppose. I, I, I take I take it one stride at a time, and I feel like it, a person doesn't have to have a huge legacy to have an important one. Uh, all the same, if it turns out that I do make a great difference in the world someday, somehow, whether on YouTube or somewhere else, uh, great. But anyway, enough of the whole downer philosophy kind of thing. Um, last episode we got through the prologue of Valkyria Chronicles, now we are in Chapter 1. The Empire sent a scouting squad into uh, Brule, um, Welkin's hometown, our main character, um, and we just took them out. However, the Empire is sending a larger squad, and not only to Brule, but in the entirety of Gallia, so we need to try to set up for that. spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home hmm. <laughs> I hear that it really is one of the most beautiful things about this town well citizens our enemy can't be far behind I thank you for your help. Goodbye, and take care. <laughs> How's the packing coming along, East? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Welkies! <laughs> You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light jog won't hurt the little spud. I should know. I've already had four of them. <laughs> Hello there. Um, is Welkin in? Oh. Hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize. For before. Um, here. This is for you. Really? These are for me? I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, all right? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. What? Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh, well, I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously, Martha, enough with the Welkies already. That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? 
Yep. It was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. And who's that with him, there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. Wait a minute. But I thought the General was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. The General was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. Sorry, was that question too personal? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Yeah, I guess you were, huh? Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. Wow, look at this. Brule's really becoming a ghost town. They've been leaving for a while. Just about everyone is evacuated by now. You can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The Town Watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm hmm So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you gonna join the army like your father? Hmm. I don't think that's for me. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Huh. A teacher? Yeah. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general, but it's just that I, I want to give back in my own way, my own way, you know what I mean? I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep in your own way. What was that? That sound. Believe it. The mill. Miss Melchior, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Get all the town watch together now. We've got to fend them off. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Welkin. Now move out. Stay low. I'll explain the mission. I will too. The enemy has invaded the Windmill Plaza and has taken almost the entire area over. We'll deploy from this position. Hide behind sandbags for cover as you advance towards the plaza. Our goal this time is to eliminate the enemy leader. I'm pretty sure they'll have they'll be there in the plaza our area. <clears throat> I can't speak today. Be careful, there may be enemy units hiding behind the buildings out there. Hidden enemies won't show up in command mode view, so be careful as you make your advance. Okay, let's begin. It's up to us to defend Brule. Yes it is. And the battles only get harder from here. It's not this one's not too bad. 
However, I will need to be careful, as you will see a little bit uh, into this one. Our target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Focus on taking down their captain. Breaking the chain of command should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away. Alright, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. A set amount of damage a unit has sustained is healed in each turn. If a unit has taken heavy damage, don't push them. Stay back and heal up. Should enemy attack... Yeah, okay. Should enemy attacks drive a unit's HP to zero, their condition becomes critical. In this battle, you have no way of helping a unit in critical condition. Try to fight carefully so no one's HP reaches zero. Oh man. But yeah, as you guys can obviously see, this game just oozes character. Now, oh, sight lines. When a unit slight, sights an enemy in action mode, a sight line will appear over his or her, her head. The line connects the unit to the en <coughs> Excuse me. I cannot speak today. I don't know why. Connects the unit to the enemy, meaning that line points in the direction of the enemy's location. Use it as a guide when attacking or when trying to position your units in a spot where they will be safe from enemy attacks. Oh, you're not crouched, bro. Oh, crap. I don't know why I keep pressing square. I think square might have been the target mode for Valkyria Chronicles 2. If that's the case, then that's probably why. I'm not sure, though. Pressing the L1 or R1 buttons while in target mode will automatically lock onto the next enemy within firing range. The crosshairs will turn red when a unit aiming at an enemy has a clear line of sight on their target. Use the guideline that extends from the gun while firing near obstacles to see if they are blocking the shot. If that line is interrupted, it means the unit's attack will be blocked. When the crosshairs are on an enemy, the attacking unit's weapon specifications appear at the top of the screen. Versus Purse shows damage against human targets, versus Armor shows damage against tanks and armor. The symbols will indicate the effectiveness against different types of targets. O will indicate the weapon is effective against that type of target. Triangle indicates the weapon can only give slight damage. X means the weapon is ineffective against that type of target. Area shows whether the attack will damage a broad area, and shots show the number of rounds fired per attack, per each attack. In this case, of the five rounds fired, two must hit either, two must hit to defeat the enemy unit. This number only takes shots that hit the center of the crosshairs into account. Miss, misses or hits to other areas of the target are not taken into account to this number. This provides an estimate, uh, estimate that you can use when selecting a target that can be used to line up headshots and critical attacks. Good job there, Welkin. I was a little bit worried there. I yeah. was, like, right in front of him and still... Still you started hitting his uh, chest. But yeah, I'm gonna be super careful about this, because uh, as you can see... It, well, of course one would expect that uh, shots... People wouldn't be able to take that many shots in the first place, but... Uh, even so, it's no laughing matter. I need to be extra careful. That's the counterattack that uh, they were talking about in the other tutorial level. As much I would as I would like to move up even further, I just can't. I can't. I can't risk it. Not right now. And honestly, the characters later in the game don't become juggernauts, but. Uh, they do become stronger, at the very least. Stronger in armor, stronger in attack, everything. That's good enough as I'll get for now, I suppose. If I had remembered Alicia had a grenade, I would have used her first. That would have been better. Oh well. Live and learn. It's been a long time since i played this game. It's been about a year and a half. Yeah! Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Can you take him out? Oh, yes, baby! 
Oh, that was great. Well, that pretty much just made up for my entire mistake right there. And sometimes that can happen. Sometimes we'll get screwed over, but sometimes that kind of thing can happen. Oh, so close. But anyway, yeah, this game oozes, oozes, uh, just, like, character. Uh, in my opinion, there are three major things that you need to make a great game. One, the gameplay needs to be awesome. Two, uh, crap, I keep forgetting it's R1. Um, two, the story needs to be superb. And three, the, you know, the overall presentation and uniqueness needs to just be at an all-time high. And that's a lot to take in, but... That's really what truly sets the games apart, in my opinion, between being a crappy game, an okay game, and being a masterpiece. Well, of course, I, I think there are other levels, so to speak, between an okay game and a masterpiece. Um, they're still great games, but I think that this game is a masterpiece. Okay. Now, I feel like I'm kind of cheating here because I played this game before. But I'm going to take out the other henchmen before the um, leader, and you'll see why in a second, in about a turn or two. But uh, that would be very bad for me if I ended up doing that. Which is what they want you to do, since it's your main objective, and uh, as you would probably assume, as soon as you complete the main objective, you would probably be done. <laughs> but I, I know better, so I'm going to try to make this work out the best for me. Oh, you're hiding over there. Can I get ya? Oh, thanks, Alicia, for ducking. I kind of didn't think about that. Sorry! Yes. Okay. Now we just got the leader left. I'll let him kill himself, if he's actually even going to try to attack me. Oh? Yes! Got him! Did not waste a turn. Did not waste a turn. That is beautiful. I probably won't be getting that kind of luck for very much longer. What's that? Sounds like a tank. That's why. As soon as you kill the enemy commander, that triggers. Oh no, all my characters are standing up. Crap, I did not remember that part. Otherwise, I would have kept all of them back. Not good. At least it's only the town watchman. I don't... I, I'm. It's not like I don't care about him, but, you know... He's not as powerful as the other two, at the very least. Welcome, tank. Yeah, things are getting serious now. That's not good. We're not equipped to take out a tank. And he means it. Uh, the, if you saw, the blue thing in the back uh, is the tank's weak spot. If I take a rifle to that thing, it'll literally take about 500, if not more, shots to just kill that. That is not, you know, I, it's just, this just can't be done. Just can't be done. I hate to say it, but we should probably pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. 
and try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from that turret and it's over. And she's not kidding. Ready to go. Okay, this is how we do things. We go the long way around. Now, normally, when I play this game, I just barrel from here right through there. But I'm starting this game from scratch, not a new game plus or anything. So my characters are not leveled up, therefore I'm not going on a suicide mission. I'm going to have to take this one stride at a time. Great shot walking, as always. Yes. Oops, uh, nope, nope. Let's uh let's crouch right here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. But yeah, I mean Alicia and Welkin throughout the game always have really good aim, but they're not they're not a solve all. They they can they can miss and and they can die, especially if you're not careful. Uh but they are they do have a lot better accuracy than um, most people do. Okay. Now I have one more, right? I think I might actually be able to get Welkin in there. Let's try it. Here we go. Do I have enough movement? Yeah! Awesome. We got it done. Uh, I think that's an A rank. I think. I hope. Looks like we shook him. What are you doing from here? If they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the town watch can do. Yeah. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay. I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin. You know I will, baby. Oh, I'll be ranked, darn it. If that's the case, I probably would have been A rank if I got it done in two turns, but oh well. And in case you're wondering, um, you cannot go back and do story battles in uh, in the main game. Um, there are such a thing that are, that's unlocked later called skirmishes, uh, where they're basically like smaller, more generic battles. Like When I say generic, they're not story related, and you can replay them over and over and over again to grind your characters. and they are pretty good. They are pretty good uh, candidates for grinding. But I feel I wish that you could go back and redo the story battles. Not to say that you can never do that. When you do uh, New Game Plus, when you go through the story mode again, then you can redo the main battles. But not in your first save. But that's okay. I, I don't really. I'm not too worried about that. I mean, there is an achievement for getting all that, but I'm not too worried about it. And when I say achievement, it's like in-game achievement, not trophy. Chapter 2, Escape from Brule. Okay, I kind of forgot that uh, that was the last cutscene of that chapter. So, I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks so much for watching. Um, in the next episode, we will continue on with Chapter 2. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed enjoying it so far. And, yeah, I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.